Project Subaru Forester. This is my buddy DJ's Subaru. We've got some suspension to put on the vehicle. Uh, he likes to take it off road and he got a slew of parts. We're gonna go from, from this to this. I've gotten a head start and I have the Forester up on the lift. I've actually already put a wrench on every piece of hardware that I believe that I'm going to have to take apart to do this job of rear control arms and uh, suspension coilover system on all four corners. So one thing that I did learn is that I have two, two bolts I'm going to have to cut out. These are actually pretty notorious uh, pieces of hardware for... Um, Subarus, uh, they are exposed to the elements and they rust. So over here is the example that I'm talking about. I've already got some penetrating lube on there and uh, gonna make a cut on this end and then slide the bolt out. Okay, okay, here you are. Let's see if we can get you in on the action of this one. Gonna cut her off and pound her out. This one looks Pretty gnarly. Let's see what happens. This is going to be pretty loud, but we're halfway there. Um, I'll cut out what I can till it pops. Ooh, there we go. All right, punch of choice, hammer of choice. Let's see if this one will move. Oh no. There we go. Before you go, it's the part number, your new bolt. Ooh. All we need is new control arms. That's the next thing. Don't forget washer or nut if those are stuck as well when you order it. Forester parts, just wanted to give you a quick overview of what we're putting on the car. We got Godspeed. I'm not sure all the details on Godspeed. I'll be, I'll be a hundred percent, but I knew, I knew that eBay would have something for lifting a Forester on a budget and kind of the right way, you know? No spacers. Then we have rear control arms. Also, trailing arms. If you would like to see the lower control arms and suspension go on the Forester, be sure to watch my next video. Thank you for watching and good luck with your project.